Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jack. I'm Joe. This is Frank. <laughs> and welcome to Albania. Albania. Yeah, you heard that right. After a couple of months in Spain and Portugal, we have taken our little home on wheels out of Schengen to explore the beautiful, wild and rugged Balkans. In this week's video, we explore South and Central Albania, braving the deep blue waters of the Blue Eye, bar for some goods in Gyrocaster, continue to be sport by Albanian hospitality, swim in some hot springs and walk around the impressive city of Berat, known as the City of a Thousand Windows. Click subscribe and follow along with these wild journeys in Albania. Mate, welcome to another beautiful, beautiful day in Albania. We were at the Blue Eye, like a spring in the ground. We've got another week's worth of awesome stuff that we're going to be doing um, in this beautiful country. But first, we're going to go for a cold dip. Well, I am. I don't know if Joe is. Let's see. <laughs> All right, I wasn't being fair there. The Blue Eye is more than just a natural spring. It's a phenomenon and one of the most famous natural places in Albania. The deep, bright, see-through waters are the source of the Bistrica River, which ends in the Ionian Sea. Not only is the Blue Eye beautiful, but it's mysterious too. No one knows where the water initially comes from. Divers have been 50 meters down, but they know it stretches even deeper than that. So if you like terrifying caverns that lead to nothingness, you'll love it. Just maybe wait until the weather is a bit warmer unless cold water swimming is your thing. It most definitely isn't Joe's thing. Doesn't look like you put your head in there. I did. Jack, I saw it. Um, it's like a cover. Yeah. It's the blue eye, mate. Right, that was an awesome little excursion. 100% um, recommend this place. 100%. But, it's a bit well, smaller than you think it was. Yeah, yeah. But when you get in there, it's huge. Yes. It's terrifyingly big. So it's up to 50 meters deep, a lot more deep. And it's just like, yeah. yeah, it's like innocuous, right? You don't expect it to be there. I guess that's why it's- It's like just having a nice little swim, you dip your head in, bam, there's a massive hole. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool. Would recommend it. They're definitely inve investing more into this area. Yeah. Like we had to park down about a kilometer away in like a car park and where there's loads of diggers because they're creating a whole new road up here. But um, it's just going to get more and more popular. But Albania, needs the tourism I guess and it's they great. deserve it because it's a beautiful country, country. Um, and we're yeah and over the next few days we're going to explore more inland on the last video we went along the coast and this one we're going to go more inland um, come along um, we're going to go find our camp spot for the night See you in a bit. After another amazing drive, <laughs> hey Joe, that was like another amazing drive through Albania. We just we've got inland now, but just everything's just covered by like snow, snow-capped mountains. It's just incredible. Pulled up at a campsite because we're going to explore Girocasta, which is uh, like a ancient old city tomorrow. Um, and the campsite is pretty sweet. Like, look at this view. Excuse me. Here. So that's the view from our bedroom. And this is just our casual view from the kitchen. Just, you know, mountain views for days. Joe approves. <laughs> Are you ready to mooch, Joe? Ready to mooch. Where are we going? Jirocaster. Jirocaster. Yeah. Ancient city, Ottoman uh, architecture, and a castle. And we're just going to go there and mooch about. We're on a campsite, 20 euros for the night. Everything included, though. So naturally, the van's now turned into a laundrette. <laughs> because yeah. even the washing machine's included. Yeah. So Joe's taken full advantage of that. <laughs> but yeah, let's go explore the city. Bye! If you've watched a few of our videos, you'll know cities and towns usually aren't our thing, but we were pleasantly surprised by Gyrocaster.
The UNESCO World Heritage Town sits on the side of a mountain, with incredible views all around, from the fortress and from various viewpoints around the city. It's a really pretty city, perfect for walking the tiled streets, taking in the architecture of the castle and the surrounding Ottoman style houses too. Oh, and it's got a pretty decent market as well. Shopping paradise for Joe. It's just so beautiful, it's got so many nice mats and rugs and cups, I love a cup. <laughs> well, Joe, look at the view behind you. After more walking and gawping at the view, we were dragged into a restaurant by a friendly man named Ali, who promised his mum would cook us some Albanian-inspired vegan food, and we were not disappointed. The hospitality was incredible, and they even gave us some free homemade raki too. Finish off. Gazuba. <laughs> Thank you very much, tasty foods. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Successful mooching day. Obviously needed a uh, magnet, a fridge magnet, of course. Loving the fridge magnet. And who doesn't need a very decorative teacup? Loving the teacup. It's like, this is like an episode of Bargain Hunt. And we also got a nice pillowcase. We did. Which we'll put through the wash and then we can put it on the sofa. Good day of mooching. Great day of mooching. Lovely meeting the people in the restaurant. Yeah. Great day Moochin, Albanian hospitality, again, just so friendly and so nice, like the people at our restaurant catered for us annoying vegans, gave us a dessert that, was their dessert in their, in their home? I think so. Because there was nothing vegan, but it was just like rice pudding, and they were just like, yeah, we made this for our celebrations this evening, but you can have them. So they just gave us their puddings. For free, I think. Was it for free, or did we pay for it? For free. Like, for fr they gave us um, some... Is it ra raki? raki, yeah, Raki. Um, the, the pudding and also a welcome drink for free. Mate, Albania. Albania. Beautiful people, beautiful country. The next day, we were back on the road tackling some more scenic roads in Albania. We love Jirakasta, but we were now definitely hankering after a bit of nature, and we knew of a place that would give us our fix. So the drive here was amazing uh, and we pulled up to a campsite near to Permet, um, which is like a mountain village in Albania and uh, these are our campsite views. It's a casual snowy peak mountain behind you Joe. No. <laughs> morning we're gonna head to some hot springs as soon as Joe gets out of bed <laughs> We woke to some amazing views in the Valley of Permet. Surrounded by snow-crusted mountains, the views here were spectacular. And with the weather warming up, we were on our way to Benja Hot Springs. After a traditional Albanian sheep jam, of course. At the hot springs, it is quite busy because it's a weekend, but loads of vans and then loads of locals as well. But yeah, let's go for a nice warm dip before it gets too warm. No public nudity. Yeah. All right, very important. Hold your Frank wasn't loud in the bathtub. No public. The thermal waters of Benja are sulfur-rich waters close to the town of Permet. At the end of a bumpy road, you'll come to a medieval bridge, which has been helping people cross over to enjoy the medicinal qualities of the springs since the Middle Ages. We visited on a weekend, so it was busy with locals and a few other people in their vans too, but there was plenty of space for us to enjoy a dip. It's not that warm. All right, it's warmer than... Oh, oh, warmer oh, than the blue eyes. The floor is so slippery. <laughs> it was so nice to have a warm soak for an hour and the views down to the mountains were exceptional. Lala moaned that it was busy, so it was actually really nice because it's just like local people. Yeah, and a few, few people in vans, but the majority of local people coming out for a nice little swim. The temperature 
actually, here's a good comparison. It was like an outdoor pool heated temperature. Yeah. Like in England, you know, yeah. like, a, like a heated Lido. Yeah. Um, it was really good. After giving the springs our seal of approval, we headed back to the campsite. It's a weird quirk that in a country like Albania, where wild or free camping is generally accepted as fine by everyone, we stayed on campsites the most out of any country we visited. It helps that at most of the places we stayed, we've been offered free wine, fruit or raki, friendly smiles and welcome places. So while we could have stayed near to the hot springs, we really felt at home at this campsite. Frank made a new best mate in Leah, the campsite dog, and each night our host Donna would bring a glass of wine or raki to our van. We'd love to just chat about Albania, what there is to do here and more. Plus, these campsites are cheap. Eco camp was only four euros per person, and we got more than enough value for our money. After soaking in the view for one more night, we were back out on the road to our final destination, the mountain city and castle of Berat, also known as the city of a thousand windows. How many windows can you count there, Joe? A thousand? Oh yeah, I actually don't think there's a thousand windows. It's not got the same ring as a city, a city of a thousand windows though, is it? We are warming up to the city. And I think what's most interesting is that people still live in it. So it's not just like, you know, when you get a castle that you go visit in Europe and it's basically just a tourist trap and no one's actually in it. This has genuinely got people living in like thousand year old houses, which is quite cool. That is cool. All right, we weren't very fair about Bear at the start, but after a while, the place actually grew on us. After taking in the views by the river, you can climb all the way to the top of Berat Fortress, which gives you incredible views down the valley towards Mount Tomori. The fortress itself is worth a look, as we said, and it's actually still home to local people living in ancient homes. You can really get a feel for the ancient history from its winding streets and how it switched from a Christian country to one influenced by Islam. Albania is a really cool place and it's known for its religious tolerance, so within the walls and down into the city you'll find mosques and Christian churches right next to each other. Big fan of that one? Yeah, Go and get it. Yeah, I think we'll take that for you. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Like this whole city, wasn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. Shall we... Go get Frank now? Yeah, let's go get Frank. How sad are you that you didn't see the castle? There was also a school trip of kids that you could have chased and barked so, at. I know, look at that tail, because you know it's... <laughs> You would have had a great time. Yeah, sorry mate. Sorry. But I think you look like you chilled out here. Nice and cool. <laughs> uh, Joey's had a very good clean up of the van. <laughs> it's looking fresh. Um, really good day actually up in Berat. Yeah, Surprisingly good. It's actually really nice, wasn't it? Like we got here and we were like, oh, like it looks really pretty. Yeah, blah, blah. But actually when you go walking through it, there's so much history. And like the little winding streets are really cool and the views are amazing so yeah it's we, that. yeah re we recommend it like i wouldn't say just i mean we probably we'd recommend everything albania yeah, I mean, yeah. you only need a day in Berat, though don't you yeah. thanks for watching put a comment down below if you've got any questions or if you anything else you want to say about the video what else do you want to know about us um let us know but yeah we'll see you in the next video and on the next adventure see bye, you later. bye. Thanks for watching everyone. We have loved Albania and will definitely be back to this beautiful country. However, with thunderstorms circling, we have changed plans and we'll be heading north towards Montenegro. As always, we love reading your comments, so let us know if you have any questions for us about Albania, our trip, our van, or even what Frank's favorite color is. And remember, you can watch the whole Van Life Europe series via this playlist here, and click subscribe and hit that bell button to avoid missing out on our latest videos. See you soon.